if your teeth are just yellowed or maybe misshapen a bit, then you can just grind everything. It's like Bondo in a car, right? You just, you just, ah, oh, the fender's all fucked up. You're like, well, right, well, let's fucking pull that dent <laughs> out and put some new shit on it and sand it down smooth and put a new. Yeah, but the dentists don't say it like that. You know, that's the <laughs> difference. So basically, we're going to Bondo your fucking mouth, son. Now, you understand? Now, speaking of auto shops and dentistry, okay. I do have a story about this. I don't think you've even heard this, Ed. Where is this going? Carry on. I've got, okay. I own a diesel truck shop. Mm -hmm. It's a family business. My grandfather started in 1968. Had a guy working for me. It was, I mean, we work, you know, through winter. I mean, summer's cold, whatnot. We had a guy there. He didn't have dental insurance. He had a cavity that was filled and the filling came out. It's Friday afternoon, four o'clock. And it's throbbing. It's hurting. So me being the caring boss I am, fixed it for him. Mm -hmm. Nice. You JB welded that too. <laughs> Magnum steel. Oh no. I needed that stuff together with gloves on, you know. Yeah. Because I'm I'm a professional. Of course. He opened his mouth and I filled his tooth. It still hurt through the night. I called him the following the next day. He said it quit hurting. He said, well, I won't go to the dentist Monday and I'll have him look at it. Well, he never goes to the dentist. Five years later, he goes to the dentist for another tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the dentist says, what in the hell is that in your mouth? <laughs> he forgot about it. He said, that's where my boss filled my tooth. Yeah. And he goes, hell is staying. Looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I did something right. You I'm know? pretty sure there's lead in that. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> we used to eat lead when we were kids. And look how good we turned out. Rabbit, okay? you didn't have any mercury available to fix it? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I'm not saying you know, it was a permanent fix, okay? I'm a problem solver, all right? <laughs> yeah. I filled the damn hole, you, you know? Mix a little For battery who, acid who and mercury. Know, and what, what was the actual thing you were mushing with gloves? Like, what is that that you put it's in Magnum tooth? steel. Magnum steel is like a, it looks like Play-Doh. And it mm -hmm. hardens like JB Weld or something like that. Yeah, but it's a little, it's a little more dense. I, I googled it and, and showed uh, the audience on screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gets warm. Yeah. It's like a binary and thing. It gets warm here. while yeah. you're. Yeah. I would be scared <laughs> well, yeah. though that once know. you got it in, that it would expand like how fiberglass expands when you put it in. No, stuff. it doesn't and, expand. This is like a. I don't know what it's made out of. I'm pretty sure it's not natural. Apparently, yeah, not. definitely. No, that's not. <laughs> no. I got some uh, <laughs> vegan magic well, I mean, weld here. <laughs> Hey, you know what? At the end of the day, problem solved. Oh, I'm with you. I've done some at home. My feeling didn't fall out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I had a a wisdom. Tooth I'm not that... saying I'm going to open up a school or anything, or open up no. a dentist office. And but, when he know. goes insane from lead poisoning in 30 years, at least he got his dental work done. Free, you know? free, free. <laughs> and he he was making money. He was at work. Like so. <laughs> See.